the first day of labs here at Stockton, I was out on the marsh identifying plants, keying out fish, measuring water currents, and just learning new techniques. I always knew I wanted a career as a marine scientist, but the program here at Stockton University actually allowed me to be a marine scientist. The Stockton University Marine Field Station is pretty unique. We're on an eight acre waterfront site right next to the Jacques Cousteau National Estuarine Research Reserve. Pretty amazing location so the students can get right out on the water. The other great thing is that we are dedicated to the undergrads. So we can have more contact hours with the students because it's dedicated to their uh, hands-on field experience. The students get the opportunity to really work with the equipment that they hopefully will uh, engage with during their careers and during their graduate school. One of the things that was uh, interesting to me at Stockton was you could take a marine science course in the first year as a freshman. Uh, most all of the other colleges I was looking at required at least two years of general science before you would be able to obtain your first marine science class. Classroom instruction in Stockton is very important. We like our lab work, we like our field work, but working in the classroom is important. We're using modern techniques. We've got lots of modern high-tech equipment, both at the field station and here on the main campus. One of the important things for us is that we keep the classes small. And what that does is it maximizes the amount of interaction between the faculty and the students. You know, I, as a professor, if I want field help, I, I go to the undergraduates. The undergraduate students don't have to compete with graduate students for research time and for resources or for the professor's attention. So students are able to get um, more research experience as an undergraduate than they otherwise would. There were so many opportunities for me to get involved with research. So my two mentors, Gordon Gregorik and Mike Hosek, were always encouraging me to get involved with things, go to meetings, and so I just felt like it was a very um, good atmosphere for a student to be in, um, for growth and everything like that. I just got so much out of it. In addition to my experiences and courses in labs once I transferred to Stockton, I was also offered positions only available to Stockton students, such as an internship at the Atlantic City Aquarium and take field courses such as tropical marine biology, which includes site visits to coral reefs and mangrove forests, a completely unique experience not found in New Jersey. Students can have opportunities to work out in the community on projects like collecting lost crab pots with local fishermen, restoring oyster beds or seagrass meadows with nonprofit organizations, or working with the state on restoring salt marshes around the bay. The university uh, has been investing in this program consistently throughout my 20 years here and through internal and external funding uh, we have really acquired some significant resources. We most recently built a 36-foot uh, coastal research vessel uh, dedicated towards undergraduate teaching and undergraduate education and even better preparing our students for graduate school especially in areas like oceanography and physical sciences uh, than we could even just a few years ago. I know my professors. They care and want me to succeed. From helping me plan my courses as an academic advisor to providing me with letters of recommendation for scholarships and graduate schools, I can tell my connections with my Stockton professors are going to go way beyond graduation. Hope to see you on campus.